Hey everyone, my name is Austin and I'm going to teach you guys how to actually use Photoshop to make a flat background. So as you look here, this is called um, a flat background. It's matte, it looks really, really clean. I really, really like the appearance. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that today in this tutorial. So it's super, super simple. Uh, if you, as you can look here, I need a new banner. So I'm going to be doing that today in the video. Uh, you're going to need to go to that link in the description called flatuicolors.com. And for me, because I'm making a banner, you can use it, of course, for any sort of like icon or whatever. I need this resolution, so 2560 by 1440 pixels. All right, so let's get started here. Let's go to Photoshop, assuming you already have it open. File new, 2560 by, is it 1440? It is 14, 1440, awesome. So now, since it's my channel, we're gonna go start off with, oof, change the font size. Pine, um, increase that font size a bit just because that's what I want, and then lastly, is just center it because that's all minor. Uh, there we go. So next up, what we want to do is we actually want to uh, add our shadow. So it's pretty really it's pretty easy. So let's add one layer right now, and let's also change the font to black. I'd be happy with that. Let's just go black for now. So next up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is let's set a uh, our secondary color. So let's go to the website, flat UI colors, and I wanna have a concrete on asbestos back, or sorry, no, asbestos on the concrete background. So let's copy over concrete. Um, it'll copy over automatically. And you simply just wanna go into the number the, by the pound sign and hit control V, and that'll copy over the color you need. So switch those into your two swatches here. So I got, I'm gonna do concrete and asbestos because those are the two types of gray. I'm gonna have them shade on top of each other. So let's go to the other one, copy that in. So now I've got two different color palettes, the darker gray and the lighter gray. So let's make the uh, background the lighter one, which makes sense, right? Just like that. And now let's go to the darker one. All right, so after the background is gray, the light gray, what you want to do is you want to add the dark gray shadow. So we don't want to go up to the, the rectangle tool at the top left corner, draw um, a relatively, for now, we'll do a narrow rectangle just so it's more accurate. And let's right click it. Make sure you're under uh, your empty layer, by the way. Right click it, go to transform selection, and then just rotate it however many degrees you like. I like to use a bit of an extreme angle. And so just make, make the rectangle huge. It just makes it super, super easy in terms of lengthwise. So let's zoom in a bit. Now it's quite simple. All we're gonna do is just color within the lines. So let's go to like a paintbrush, apply a transformation. Paintbrush, and then switch to your darker gray if you haven't already. And then you can simply color in the box. As you can as you can see, the darker the area inside the box is the only portion that actually gets colored, which is super, super convenient. So uh, you can color in this whole region here really quickly, done. So now, this section's done, but I have to be kind of careful because if you look at the T, I don't. I want to make sure that the angle there is correct because I don't want to draw up here. So let's go back to the mark, uh, rectangle tool and then just shift it over a bit to the top right of the T and then go back to your paintbrush tool and then you can just shade in the rest. It's pretty easy after a while. It's a really, really simple process. In my opinion, this is the most clean way to do it in Photoshop. There's many other ways of doing it, but I think this is the best without a doubt. So I'm gonna get started with the rest of my logo and I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so I'm pretty much done. As you can have a look there, it looks really, really sharp and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, at the very end, pretty, all I pretty much did was erased off the little edges that I thought didn't look very good or really unclear. Um, and I just filled in the entire gray shadow with my fill tool. And that was pretty much it. So now I'm done my, my logo and my, or sorry, my cover page. And I'm going to update that on my YouTube page in a second. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, definitely drop a like rating. It helps me out a lot. Comments and questions, be sure to leave them down below as well. I'll do my best to answer them. And subscribe. I'm at 102 subscribers as of this morning. So any subscribers would really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.